Braylon, it's Iowa week. Um, I know you guys take it week by week, but understanding what the scheme kind of means in this game, does that add any extra value going into this game? Um, I think I think in some ways, um, obviously you, you want to win every game, uh, but you know, understanding the tradition of the rivalry, uh, you know, we we have a lot of respect for it, so uh, that kind of adds to the preparation uh, for the game. Definitely take a, another step in, in preparation, um, knowing it's going to be a, a battle um, and a, a tough test for us. Talking about that rivalry, I mean, head coach Luke Fickle, he pointed out last uh, yesterday, he said how that's important. Have you seen kind of the new coaching staff address things like the rivalries and kind of keeping the tradition? Um, we, uh, during fall camp, we had like rivalry night, so the former players would come in um, to the meeting and, and kind of talk about what the rivalry is meant to them. Um, current players spoke on it, everybody that, that's played the game kind of uh, speaks on all the rivalries. So um, that was that was one thing Coach Big made sure to, uh, you know, like I said, address. Uh, when he first got here, uh, understanding the, the tradition of it, um, and, and like I said, ha just having um, the respect for, for these rivalries. What do you think of Iowa's defense on tape? How are they similar, different to what you've seen from the last couple of years? Um, the same, really. Um, you know, obviously, um, they lost two first-round draft picks, um, but you know they they reload at, at each position on defense. So um, I don't think there's really much of a, a drop-off. And um, like I said, it, it'll be a tough test for us. So who are the former players that uh, talked about Iowa? Any type of former players that came in to talk? Um, uh, Alec James, uh, and then some guys sent in videos. Chris Moore. Um, Bo Allen, uh, Melvin, um, a bunch of guys I'm talking about all, all the different rivalries. So. Were you one of the current guys that talked? I mean, what, is this, what does this rivalry mean to you? Um, you know, it's definitely a, a, obviously a physical game. Um, so I think that's the exciting part, exciting part about it for um, a running back, just knowing you know what type of game it's going to be. You know, they they want to stop the run. And uh, so it's, it's going to be tough, and um, you, you know, you're always excited for that challenge. When you look, you face an Iowa team that, like you said, is pretty similar on defense. How do you try to find different edges or different things to maybe give you guys an advantage? Um, well, I think it, it um, kind of comes along with scheme. Um, you know, obviously, they're not as familiar with what we're going to do now that we're running a, a different offense. So. Uh, I guess that's not really my job to say. It's more so um, on Coach Longo thinks that he can find that uh, will help us win. Talking about last season, like you said, it's a similar defense, but you guys were running a different offense last year. Do you guys still go back and kind of look at last year? Last year's game was close loss and try to take things away, or you guys kind of wipe them away? Wipe um, we personally, as, as running backs, haven't um, wouldn't look at last year's tape, but. Uh, I think just thinking back on the game, there's definitely a lot of things that I know I could have done better personally. Um, and just you know, hope to be have a, have a much better game you know, than I did this last year. Obviously, Deacon Hills become their quarterback after an injury there, classmate of yours when he was here. Just what do you remember about him? What do you think he kind of brings to, to an offense for Iowa? Um, you know, the I obviously the thing that stands out about Deacon is his, his arm strength. Um, so I think you know that's a that's a threat that we have to be prepared for. Um, what was he like, maybe off the field or just when you guys were getting uh, together? We didn't really. I wouldn't say we really hung out too much. Uh, like I said, classmates and, and whatnot. But um, I mean, we had a good relationship, obviously, with um, teammates. But you know, we weren't super close. Sure. What have your conversations been like with Jackson, uh, you know, bracing a new role and, and seeing what he did last weekend and that kind of thing? I mean, what have you kind of tried to give to him as your message as, as the other guy in the backfield? Uh, well, well, he's learning pretty quick, pretty quickly um, what type of toll it takes on your body. And uh, he had some things to say about that when we came in on Sunday. But so I thought that was funny. But uh, I, I think, you know, he has it. Um, obviously, the talent, uh, I think the mindset. Um, and all the confidence in himself, knowing that you know he can compete and play at a high level. So I, I haven't really had to, to uh, tell him too much. What did you see from him on Saturday? I, I know you mentioned you know him driving down the field, and then obviously the fumble happened. But I mean, what what stood out to you about his performance on Saturday? Um, like I like I said, he, I just felt he was really confident in his ability. 
Um, and, you know, that's something that me, me and Coach Baldwin tried to, to make sure of um, throughout the week, you know, that he was going to be fully confident and ready to go. And I thought he played that way. You dragging him to the cold tub now? <laughs> after? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've been in there or not. I'm gonna to, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to get him in there. Speaking of that, it's supposed to be cold and rainy and obviously it's Iowa, Wisconsin, running is expected. Does that excite you, kind of, you know, a perfect storm for a running heavy game? <laughs> I wouldn't say cold and rainy excites me, but uh, <laughs> I think just the game in general, obviously, like, like I mentioned before, it's exciting. Um, you know, like I said, they're going to try to stop the run, uh, so it'll be a good test for us. Is it kind of weird, obviously, going to an air raid system for, you know, with passing, but then Scott's is still leading the Big Ten in rushing. Is that does that sound weird compared to all the transition and the change that you've had in offense? Uh, no, I, I mean, I didn't know we were, we were leading the Big Ten, but um, I think I think that's what we expected. Uh, you know, Coach Longo made made it very clear when, when we got here. Um, we were going to put emphasis on, on the ball. And, um, I, think, I think we have so far. It's definitely been effective. So.